Fair warning. This isn't your typical heartbreak tale. I didn't break up with a person. I broke up with my tall, dark and liquid ex. Yep, you guessed it. Alcohol. Before you roll your eyes, hear me out. This quirky journey of mine has been all the drama of reality TV show minus the rose ceremonies. And I, Dave Stevens, am here to spill the coffee. Because frankly, that's all I'm drinking these days. One morning, I winced at my reflection in the mirror after yet another night of indulgence. I couldn't help but wonder, was alcohol really worth it? Sure, we had our good times, laughter, the life of the party moments, and that seductive buzz that made everything seem just a tad brighter. But then the morning after always arrived with its brigade, headaches, and a hefty serving of regret. So, I decided to ghost alcohol, completely, cold turkey. And let me tell you, it's been a ride. The unfiltered truth. A ticket to dreamland. My sleep quality skyrocketed when I stopped seeing alcohol. Before, our toxic relationship had me tossing and turning, but now, I snooze like a baby. Deep, uninterrupted, drool-inducing sleep. Hangovers disappeared. Gone are the mornings of me swearing off drinking while hugging the toilet like an old friend. My body thanked me for sparing it the torture. My mood? Let's just say I'm now less Eeyore and more Tigger. The emotional roller coaster stabilized. I found myself enjoying a newfound sense of calm and happiness. Alcohol was like a friend who constantly orders the most calorie dense item on the menu and insists you share it. Once I cut out those sneaky liquid calories, managing my weight became a walk in the park. The mental fog lifted, and suddenly I was thinking clearer. Remembering details I would have sworn were lost to me and cranking out work like it was going out of style. My heart started feeling less like it was constantly running a marathon and more like it was on a leisurely jog. Improved heart health for the win. The scary A word, addiction, loomed over me like a dark cloud. Deciding I didn't want to be shackled to any substance felt absolutely liberating. You really don't realize the heavy toll alcohol takes on you until you kick it to the curb. The transformation was nothing short of illuminating. Sure, social gatherings felt a little odd at first. My hand felt naked without a drink, and the initial wildly drinking interrogation was as comfortable as a swimsuit in winter. But here's where it gets good, leading me to rediscover pleasures in the simplest of activities. Sunrises became mesmerizing. Workouts felt empowering. Conversations, soberingly deep and genuine. I invite you to consider, even for just a minute, what life might look like without alcohol. Whether it's for a month, a year, or forever, you might just surprise yourself with what you discover. And if you decide to embark on this adventure, remember, it's not about giving up something, it's about gaining so much more. I have to tell you, this story is from many, many years ago. I was not an alcoholic, I was a social drinker. But it happened, and I went a year without alcohol, and then I indulged just occasionally. But in the past year, without any decision at all, we just don't have alcohol. It's just not worth the expense, the time, or the way it makes me feel. So, hoping you can experience the same thing. So now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to toast life's eccentricities with a glass of sparkling water in hand, of course. Cheers to you, to me, and to a journey that's anything but ordinary. And as we say at River Zen... Move well, stay healthy, be happy, live every day with passion and purpose, and be fit, healthy, and happy.